Most people in America are quite accustomed to what is and isn't cybercrime. Cybercrime is when someone individually hacks onto your computer, interferes with your opportunities, deletes things that is important to you, and openly never stops playing. I continue to find things on my computer that I did not place on my computer, which means someone in an allegedly origin of family has been playing on my computer when I'm sleeping. The liar has probably also been participating in the cutting of my beard, or possibly it's a law enforcement officer that has been stalking me since Indiana. I can say this clearly because even when I was living in the Fishers area, even when I was traveling around Indianapolis, I was constantly having someone getting in and out of my vehicle, stealing my mechanical tools, taking things I needed for my vehicle, and openly removing things of my property. That is the liar of America who thinks they have rights to play with you, get in your vehicle, steal things from you, and then take your vehicle from you. That liar is facing life in hell. And the problem with most Christian people is that they don't recognize that they are already going to hell. Most people are surprised when they get there, I bet. But here's the reality. Your John 3.16 of Christianity does not allow you the right to continue to harass, harangue, insult, and interfere and impede my life or any other life. You see, you've lied to yourself about your rights. You're trying to stay in control. You're trying to remain in control. But you're the liar of America. Your game playing is going to get you caught in a federal snare.